Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and today in this video we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge here, a little fun challenge which is to clear Umbrella's daily event, this daily event, peer pressure at master level with only bronze umbrellas. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because some people might not be lucky and only got bronzes. And so I just want to see whether it's actually possible to clear through the master level, including the treasure nodes, with just your bronzes. So here we go. So first of all, we'll look through the modifier here first. So there's five total modifiers in the player double scoop when inflicting with any debuff also suffers slime with for 10 seconds. On tag in, suffer fatigue for 10 seconds. And the most annoying one is I drink your milkshake. Suffer special cooldown and two stacks of wither for 10 seconds when a blockbuster or special move is used while the enemy gains haste and regen. So this modifier really punishes whenever you use a blockbuster or special move, which is kind of annoying. You have to brute force it or just go through like Umbrella's long chain of combos, which is pretty much just her juggle because of this and hope for the best. For the enemy, hits have a 15% chance to inflict cripple for 10 seconds, which is annoying, and special move cooldown is reduced by 50%. Okay, so these modifiers all together makes for a pretty tough and annoying um, opponent. You can't really use your blockbusters or special moves that much, you can only use them once, and when you do, the opponent gains haste and regen. So we might need a bit of help here, I have no idea whether this is gonna work or not. Right, so we have salty and fresh air. I'm gonna try to level them up right now to max level. We're gonna go full offense here, so I'm gonna pick Sweet Victory. And for moves, I'm just... None of the moves are really great because of the modifiers. Which makes it difficult, so I'll just pick some random ones here. Gonna do the same with fresh air. Okay, finally done. Same here. Sweet victory. I honestly think fresh air is the better variant here because of that blockbuster meter. Alright. Let's try this out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, we're dealing quite good damage here. This should be possible. We're just gonna be spamming juggles for now. Because that's all we can do. Oh wow, that... God. That's a lot of damage dealt. That was not great. Oh no! Oh wow, this challenge is hard. <laughs> we definitely can do something because we're dealing quite good damage.
Oh my god. Okay, we got an enrage stack. That's really good. So the, the hard part is definitely in the first bit. Okay, never mind. Uh, that marquee, I didn't level it up enough, and so it, it's only for five seconds. And also, I got crippled. That was a bad move. This hug it out on the on the AI. <laughs> was actually problematic. Okay, it can be done. It's a bit hard though. Right, so all of these are pretty much the same. So we're just gonna skip ahead to the treasure node. And so I'm just gonna speed run this with different variants and different fighters that I have. All right, guys, as you can see, I've sp speed run through most of the nodes here. The reason why I skip through them is because they're kind of boring. Since your blockbusters and special moves are locked out once you use one of them, there's really it's not fun to watch. You're just um, spamming juggles to your opponent. However, this triple node you can actually bring another teammate, which makes it slightly more interesting. Can I? Because I could bring Sketchy, which provides me immunity and haste when I tag in. So the plan is to tag into fresh air, get that immunity and haste, and do not have to worry about the wither or special move um, cooldown. Okay, we still suffer the special move cooldown, but we do not have to worry about the wither, which is great because I can st finally start using combos and using my blockbusters. So here it goes. Let's just do a simple damage first. Oh, no! Thankfully, the AI is pretty bad. Oh, that evasion. Umbrella's tagging is kind of weird. Oh no, I'm dead. Alright, our plan is to tag into fresh air and then start racking up blockbuster meter and finish the mom off with a blockbuster 3.
good damage right there. Umbrella's tagging is so awkward. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's bad. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Alright, so I basically can't get hit at all, or else I'm dead. I need to tag in safely, and then start racking up blockbuster meter. And then inflict a BB3. Oh, this one's almost dead. Okay, cool. Okay, got a hit in. Oh, that killed. Nice. No! Oh, I'm still alive, thanks to the blessings. No, okay, never mind, I'm dead now. Overstop damage, dealing really, oh, I got fatigued. All right, nice. That was a bit hard, that was pretty hard. All right, so here's where the real challenge begins, the treasure node. I cleared the top node with another variant because it was impossible to clear this with a bronze umbrella. The enemy has a fighter score of 8k and it was just impossible. So let's start with the first treasure node here. All right, so the modifier for the dailies are slightly different. Um, there's an extra Modifier in Separation Anxiety, which loses 20% blockbuster meter per second while far away from the opponent. And then Shell Shock, inflicts stun for 4 seconds when landing a critical hit. Man, this might be impossible. I don't think this is possible. Locking out of your blockbusters is definitely a huge detriment to Umbrella, because she combos, most of her combos uses her blockbuster or special moves. But we'll try, we'll try. Okay, so this might be difficult. It's 7k fighter score. Or oh, I should have started with a dash attack. Oh, that was a bad intercept. Oh, it's possible, it's possible, okay, nice. It's just very difficult with all the modifiers. No! Okay, first attempt, first attempt, that was a loss. So 
Acid Reflux is definitely a good one here, even if it's just a single use. Because it charges really fast. Oh crap, I, di I died from the thorns. It's definitely possible, it's definitely possible. Maybe Salty is the answer after all with Salt Grinder. I did that to inflict the armor break for some extra bit of more damage. I don't know if it's helpful though. No! Alright, let's try a different strategy with Salty instead. So we're definitely using Feeding Time and Acid Reflux for sure. But we're also using Salt Grinder. I think Salt Grinder is the key here. Oh, I thought that would have killed. Okay, now she's dead. Okay, nice. This was easy. Nice. Alright, first challenge completed. Second challenge. This treasure node. Let's see the modifiers here. So it's slightly different as well. The opponent has smash hit, blockbuster attacks deal 100% bonus damage. So basically if we get hit by a blockbuster, we're dead. They also have transducer, which means blockbuster meter um, quickly builds their um, blockbusters, which is very dangerous and scary. Hoyer's hoping and praying that they don't have a blockbuster 3. I think the our side is the same, so okay. Let's level up Acid Reflux just so that it can inflict slime. That might help us a bit more. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, so it should be possible. Oh, 
Oh, their debuffs got rid. Oh man, this might be bad. I think this is a bad matchup. Okay, Revenus makes us able to like intercept really fast, which is good. So I'm trying to like um. No, okay, we're dead. That's a shame. So close, so close. I was trying to like fill up my feeding time. Let's try that again. Okay, this should be slightly easier, I think. Blizz and Glamour was not a great opponent. Okay, Slurp and Slide with Acid Reflux together, I think deals quite good damage, even if the opponent gains regen. Oh man, so close! Okay, we need to intercept here. No! Could've won that! That Silent Scope killed us. Okay, Wolf Shoots are dangerous here. Meow and Forever seems like an impossible opponent to beat. Ooh, that overstuff damage. We're gonna use a salt grinder here to get into overstuff. Okay, last final stand. No! Our blessings is gone. Okay, we need to time this really well. No! So close! Alright, we could definitely win this. Meow and Forever was an unfortunate opponent. I got hit by BB3. Alright, this seems easy. Persona Assistant, okay. This is the run. Okay. No! Oh, this is so hard. Okay. Let's try that again. This is very difficult. So we'll start with a salt grinder to get us into overstuff range. Oh no! This BB3 killed us. Oh, maybe not, maybe not.
Okay, we killed one. No! Alright, let's try that again. Okay. Bio Exorcist. This should be possible. Let's go. Okay, luckily she, they didn't use a BB-3. Okay, one down. I think this should kill it. Okay, nice. Let's start with the grab for the bleed. Alright, okay, this is the run, this is the run. No! Can we survive? Can we survive? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, finally. Okay. All right, so we just cleared the treasure notes with, with just bronze umbrellas. So it is possible, although it took me quite a lot of attempts. You gotta be lucky, you gotta be very careful with the use of your blockbusters and special moves, but it is doable. It is doable. Okay. Wow, this was a very dumb challenge. <laughs> I'm never doing this again. <laughs> this was so tedious. The modifier, I drink your milkshake, is such a stupid modifier. Like, it pre basically just prevents you... It just makes you miserable for no reason, like there's no- you can't do anything creative with this. You just have to like juggle and repeat at rinse and repeat the same time and hope your opponent doesn't use a blockbuster 3. Oh god, I hope dailies get reworked. But anyways, that's the challenge, challenge done and it only took me like an hour to complete this. Wow, what a waste of time. <laughs> anyway y'all, so that's gonna be the video for today, daily events. Possible with a bronze, might take a few tries, very very annoying to deal with, a complete waste of time, but hey, it is possible for you to start racking up those skill points, those blockbusters, those special moves, and those elemental shards as well for your umbrellas. Good luck guys, please, I hope you have at least a silver so you don't have to go through this nightmare. But anyways, that's all for me for this video, thank you all guys all so much for watching, hope you have a nice day ahead. And more content is coming soon, stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in the next video.